Because I miss you so much I miss the way we touch And I need to make it stop welcome back to my channel it is Brittany so in today's video I'm gonna be reviewing another synthetic wig for you guys this is not sponsored I told you guys I, I really don't know the order of all these videos but during this quarantine I have been shopping a lot online and a lot for synthetic wigs so the wig I'm gonna be showing you guys today is sensationals moneymaker this is not a new wig I think it was released probably in like November or December or something like that um, and I was like I'm not gonna get it because it looks just like Jenna and if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories I wore Jenna so much like I still have the original one that I reviewed back in October um, it needs to be washed and I do have a backup like a brand new one that I have as well so Jenna I love that wig so I have seen other people review this as well, but it's been so long. I don't, I forgot what they said about it. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up and I got it in the color, I got it in the color F4 slash 30. Um, I tend to get my natural, um, textured wigs in number twos because my natural hair is a number two. This four color is gorgeous. Like really, really color, uh, really, really beautiful, a very nice chocolate brown. And then it has those 30 highlights in it, which complements it very well. And I have my edges out. Um, I tend to like to wear my natural edges out with these natural textures because I just feel like it looks more natural that way. I don't have like a ton of my edges out. Just probably like a half an inch at the front. And then I have my edges and stuff over here out. So you guys saw the application process and it was very big like I'm six feet tall and I'm not like a tiny girl so I feel like I can pull off big hair um, and hair with a lot of volume like Nisha the original Nisha I think it overwhelms a lot of people because it's so much hair and it's full but I feel like like women who are like thicker and taller can pull it off because it's because our stature can take it but this particular one here is so much hair so I had to cut it and shape it up a little bit more so now it looks more like Amani and I know I review Amani and I was like I like I didn't really care for it but Amani was really cute as far as cons go I do feel like it is like tons of hair but I think that's more of a preference thing um as far as how it compares to Jenna, I think they are so similar that you don't need both of them. Um, seriously, I 
I don't think you need both of them. I don't know if Jenna came in this particular color, but either or, I think they're like dead on dupes, honestly. I really don't think there's a difference between the two. You guys know how companies copy each other. They'll do the same wig, just give it a different name. But I do like this. I did put some bobby pins on the side over here. And this is how I tend to wear Jenna anyway, because I do feel like wearing it all out, it's very, very full and I don't necessarily want it too much hair. I like some volume and everything, but I don't I didn't want it to be too too big. I think this is gorgeous. It looks like a it really does look like somebody who um put some rods in their natural hair. It's gorgeous. And I love this color for spring. Um but really this is also sweater weather hair too so you know you might get a little bit hot on your neck with this one with spring summer but i don't even know how long we're gonna be in quarantine so i'm probably gonna be wearing this in my house where it's air conditioned so you know so overall i think she is very beautiful mm, i don't know what i would give her i think she's like a solid nine i think she's gorgeous just like Jenna so and I loved Jenna so I just think you have to put some elbow grease into it and make it work for your face because this wig will swallow you up if you don't so uh, luster is amazing because it has this nice yakky texture um, as far as how soft it feels it feels dry and like you know yeah it does it doesn't feel super soft but that doesn't bother me too much if you're big on having your wig feel super duper soft and everything, you probably won't like this. The cap size to me feels like it's medium to large. Um, I did take this off and put on my wig grip because I did feel like it was like slipping back a little bit. So I do feel like it's medium to large. I have a 23 inch circumference head, but watch everybody's video because with everybody's reviews, people say different things because everybody has different size heads. So um, I think this is medium to large. Uh, I don't really suspect I'm going to get shedding like that because I got it to my liking and I don't think I'm going to be running my hands through this kind of wig or tangling. You, I might eventually uh, get tangling at the nape with where the comb is and stuff like that because that does happen. I think this is pretty and I do think I'm probably going to wear this one and Jenna's still uh, during the springtime. I'll just be wearing it with tank tops and stuff because this is some hot hair. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about Moneymaker. Have you already bought this wig? Are you considering getting her? Um, just let me know down in the comment section. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Turn on your notifications and when I do premieres, I do it at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to catch them, keep a lookout for my community tab. On my community tab, that's where I kind of update you guys and follow me on Instagram at iFancyCupcakes and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Need to shut down to keep you out.